Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Data mining and you, that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. The surveillance situation, very confusing, but vitally important for every American. So tonight, Talking Points will try to clarify what exactly is going on. And here is the headline. The U.S. government currently building a one million square foot complex in Utah that will house phone call and email data taken from Americans and foreigners alike. Let me repeat, the National Security Agency, NSA, building an enormous complex 25 miles south of Salt Lake City to mine data. That is ultra serious. A leaker named Edward Snowden gave information to the far-left London newspaper The Guardian saying the U.S. government is taking information from tech companies in order to fight the war on terror. Snowden will be arrested if he doesn't get asylum in a country that does not have an extradition treaty with the USA. And he should be arrested, even though what he did may ultimately be a good thing. You simply can't have Americans leaking national security information. That would be anarchy. If Snowden thinks his case is noble, then he should put it in front of a jury. Despite the initial reporting, we really don't know exactly, exactly what the government is doing. Here's what President Obama says. Now, with respect to the Internet and uh, emails, this does not apply to U.S. citizens and it does not apply to people living in the United States. And again, in this instance, not only is Congress fully apprised of it, but what is also true is that the FISA court has to authorize it. Well, that may be a bit misleading. Yes, federal judges have authorized the data gathering, but phone calls and emails to and from American citizens are being scrutinized. And I believe that FISA judges have no idea how. It's a massive intrusion and it affects all of us. However, the director of national intelligence, James Clapper, doesn't see a problem. The notion that we're trolling through everyone's emails and voyeuristically reading them or listening to everyone's phone calls is on its face absurd. We couldn't do it even if we wanted to. And that's true. There's too much stuff. But what could happen and what has happened is that corrupt government officials have put out private data illegally. We saw that in the IRA S hearing last week, did we not? The pro-traditional marriage organization that testified had data leaked to its enemies, allegedly by an IRS official. Big problem. And that leaker must be arrested and charged soon. So it is obvious that if the government is gathering communications information from Americans, that information could be illegally used. Now, with phone calls, there's not much of a problem because the government isn't taping the calls. It's just chronicling time and place. So in the name of national security, that might be acceptable. But emails are a far different story. There you have actual words on paper that people have said in private. And if that stuff is being stored in Utah, that's flat out unconstitutional. Here's what Senator Rand Paul said. The Fourth Amendment says that you have to look at and you can ask for a warrant for a specific to a person, place, and the items. This is a general warrant. This is what we objected to and what our founding fathers partly fought the revolution over is they did not want generalized warrants where you could go from house to house with soldiers looking for things or now from computer to computer to phone to phone without specifying who you're targeting. I agree. The feds will tell you they won't go after specific individuals unless there's probable cause. But there can't be probable cause unless they look at the emails to find a dubious situation. Does everybody get this? Well, some people dissent. They're not allowed to go into that data until they have a particular warrant signed off on by a judge with some cause to suspect a foreigner of terrorism. That is totally different from the IRS abuses, which I think are very serious. But again, Mr. Crystal discounts that corrupt federal officials could very well look at stored email data. Who's going to stop them? By the way, texts are not in play. They're not stored by the communication companies like Verizon. 
So this is one big mess, and ideologically, absolute chaos. Here's a partial list of people who support the NSA surveillance program called PRISM. In support, Senator John McCain, Senator Lindsey Graham, Senator Dianne Feinstein, Karl Rove, and Kirsten Powers, a Democrat. Here's some people who oppose. Glenn Beck, Michael Moore, Rush Limbaugh, Ariana Huffington, Al Gore, and Van Jones. The headline, Van Jones and Glenn Beck agree on something. Are you kidding me? Now, some liberals are surprised that President Obama is behind the program. But Talking Points is not. The president wants a powerful federal government that runs nearly everything. His whole administration has been about accumulating power for the feds. So this is consistent. New Rasmussen poll says 52% of Americans do not trust the president or the federal government on the surveillance issue. And that number is going to rise when we find out exactly how much data is being assembled by the feds. Now, here's what I think. The war on terror requires an aggressive federal surveillance. Sane people know that. Storing phone call data is questionable, but I think it's permissible under the Constitution if things aren't tapped. But seizing actual words of America said in private, unless there's probable cause they're involved with some kind of terrorism, clearly unconstitutional. The Fourth Amendment says, quote, no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized, unquote. You can't just seize everything and say you're doing so to try to root out terrorism. You have to have probable cause to violate the privacy of an American. Look, you know me. You know I'm a very tough guy on national security. I support the Patriot Act. I support drone warfare. I support Guantanamo Bay. But this is dangerous. The IRS scandal proves the federal government can and has abused its power for political reasons. Simply can't have American authorities spying on the folks, storing their emails. It can't happen. This PRISM program should be shut down immediately. If it's not, a class action shoot, suit should be filed and the Supreme Court should hear it as quickly as it can. And one more thing. All this government intrusion didn't stop those Boston bombers, did it? And those two terrorists were all over the net. And that's a memo. Next on the rundown, continue now with our lead story, federal government spying on Americans. Joining us from Washington, Fox News analyst Carl Rove, who supports the prison program. So where am I going wrong here, Mr. Rove? Well, look, let's, devote, let's divide these into two parts. You, you're right. There's the phone record program and there's PRISM. The phone record program is essentially to keep a database of phone calls, who, what number called what number on what day for how, for how long. Now, this database cannot be accessed unless there is evidence enough of a tie to terrorism, a connection to terrorism, that justifies a warrant from the foreign intelligence surveillance judges. So you're right. Uh, your, your, your points that you made in the talking point, I, I agree with. There's, look, the Constitution protects content of communication. It doesn't protect the fact of communication. And that database is keeping simply a collection of telephone numbers for some period of time so that retrospectively, if the government says we have a bad call made from a bad guy abroad into the United States, let's go check and see what kind of connections okay. are with that and phone. And I, don't th I think most yeah. people would be convinced by that argument. But right. the now, email prism, thing? Mm -mm. Well, let's, no, no, hold on a second. PRISM. First of all, the PRISM program, we don't know <clears> all <throat> about it, but what we do know is following. First well, didn't of all, you start it? You and President uh, Bush well, the Younger? I, I, didn't it, you, it, aren't it, you guys was, the architect of it? I, I, I'm not, I wasn't read into it, but here's what we do know. First of all, the request from the NSA goes through an FBI electronic communications surveillance unit, which whose responsibility is to ascertain that the request is regarding the communication of someone who is not a U.S. citizen, and that it meets the standard for a uh, for a uh, for a FISA warrant in essence this is a way for us to look at the communications the emails the t the chats the images the videos the other electronic communication of bad guys that flow through U.S. networks. They may be communicating between Islamabad and Buenos Aires, but it flows through a U.S. network, but it cannot be a U.S. citizen. That's uh, the first test of it. I don't think it. that's what's happening. I think they're scooping up all of them. No, that's well, not why right. Why are they that's building a right. one million square foot facility in Utah if that were the case? They would have well, plenty think, of storage think, in, in think, Washington, D.C. No, 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 no. Think about this. Think about the phone calls that you do. Let's go back to the 
the other program. The phone records is for some period of time, and I don't know how long it is. I don't know whether it's a, a well, year, right, two right, years, three years, four years. I don't want to get bogged years. down on so you think say, how, Are you saying flat out that there is no confiscation of emails from Verizon and uh, Google and all of the others? Is that what you're saying? There's none no, at no, all? No, no confiscation of U.S. citizens. Look, the law specifically prohibits. It, I, I it know prohibits what the law, guy, but you got this whistleblower saying the opposite. No, no, no. He has not provided one shred of evidence that the emails and phone uh, that the emails and video chats and so forth of a single U.S. citizen have been released. Not a. Si he's well, not, not offered about one release. shred of evidence. It's not about release. Or collected. It's about or even a, collected. Yeah, collected. Or even even a collected. He has not. Look, the law prohibits right. intentional targeting case, of U.S. citizens. Or hold on, Bill. It prohibits the targeting of U.S citizens or anyone in the U.S. You have to get a court warrant but before, here's you, how can, they dance before around you can go it. after anybody. Here's how they dance around and this is what I'm worried about and that's why I think we have to have congressional hearings on it. They dance around it by saying we're not targeting anybody. We're going to take all the emails so they don't get erased by Verizon no, or whatever. No, 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 and no, then no, if no, we no, have to no, sort no, through them, no, we got them. No, 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 no. You're conflating. Verizon is phone records. That's why you've got to have two baskets. You've got the phone records and you've got prisms. Prisms is, is retrieving emails, right. chats, videos, images, uh, and so forth. But it is, it is. And this look, whistleblower had, says they're doing it. And they are, and they're doing it under the supervision of a FISA court with the first but check being... it depends how they're doing it. No, 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 no. Bill, once again, it starts by the FBI saying the person that you want to go after is not a U.S. citizen or somebody located in the U.S. And if the communication of a bad guy, a bad guy is doing a Skype from inside Islamabad and it flows through a U.S. network where most of this material goes, you can grab that Skype conversation. I don't, you have, have, a bad I don't have problem if it's specifically targeted at individuals. Well, look, that's, but let me that's just ask you something. For the sake of argument, say this whistleblower is right and say they're scooping emails up so they can sort through them later because as uh, Clapper right. said, he can't look at all this stuff. It's just too much. So we'll scoop it, okay? And yeah. we'll have it in, in a supercomputer and if we need it later, then we'll get a yeah. warrant to go for a specific thing. Would now, you object to that? Uh, the phone records, no, because there is a All constitutional. Right. Do we agree on the phone records? Yeah, and on the prism, emails. on the prism stuff, on the emails. If it's U.S. citizens or people inside the United States, they're violating the statute under which they're operating. But you would now, oppose that. I would oppose that, but I want I want to make certain that we don't conflate these two. And the check no, in I this, think frankly, we were very is explicit is about it. I, well, no, ordinary Americans aren't, and we need to make sure well, they understand this. If you're watching this and, program, and, you know and, there's a difference between time and place on the phone and specific right. emails. But I'm telling and you what. And, and on PRISM, we need to be careful about, look, we've got two committees, the House Intelligence Committee and the Senate Intelligence Committee. They have oversight on them. I want them to ask these tough questions. Yeah, so I want I. them to be able and to answer it for the American things. people. We and have if not, these people need to go to jail. But until then, we, the, the law is the law. And, it, and I, my, my impression of the Intelligence Committee community, particularly the NSA, is they're very keen on making certain they, they, they meet every constitutional and statutory responsibility they have. Just like the IRS, huh? No, I, I have no trust in the IRS. <laughs> Look, you remember Bill Bucky used to say that he'd rather be governed by the first 10 yeah. names to be found in the New York phone All right, book. I think we, Him, the people, are owed an explanation, a very specific explanation, and we are going to demand it. Mr. Robo, is good to see you? We also ought to protect our sources and methods of intelligence as we get those answers. All right. We have a brand new Bill O'Reilly.